In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing Lamb. Now, Lamb tells the story of Maria and Ingvar, who are sheep herders or sheep farmers in Iceland. Now, the Icelandic uh, name for this movie is Dirio, which means the animal. And uh, they, <laughs> it's, it's interesting because I went into this movie with low expectations because I didn't know what I was getting into. Uh, after seeing the trailer, and I did react to the trailer, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. You guys can check out my reaction to this movie. But this movie is nothing like you would expect when you go in. Go in with it with an open mind. And the reason I say that is because Maria and Ingvar, uh, evidently, this one sheep gives birth to a hybrid. Yes, I said hybrid. It's a half human half sheep baby yeah and they raise it as their own it's walking and that's it it doesn't talk which is very interesting to say it would, if it started talking that would be a little creepy and weird we see the relationship between maria ingvar and ada uh yeah they gave the name uh to this baby sheep goat human hybrid ada and evidently this uh baby goat human makes them come together closer as a family because uh, we find out that something happened to their only child evidently but they didn't really explain anything nothing is explained in this movie and I just want to say that you don't actually understand what's happening and each section of this movie and I say sections is because it's broken down into three chapters chapter one two and three and that's it Another character is introduced as uh, Ingvar's brother, Peter, and he, or, you know, Peter for English, and he just, you know, he's in maybe close to 12 scenes total. He tries to hit on his sister-in-law. Uh, that whole thing happens. And at the course of the while, you're trying to figure out and piece together what's happening. But then there's this thing that's hovering over them in a way where, okay, what's going on? You don't know what's going on. You have no idea what's going on. The supernatural horror aspect to this movie is weird because it's categorized as that a supernatural horror film this is not a supernatural horror film at all but it's just weird it's just a weird weird movie i did see the movie with a good friend of mine mario uh who you may know i do the cinema titan show with on the my youtube channel and uh we came out of the theater like what the fuck what did we watch we have no idea we still don't know the ending is kind of interesting in a way. And, uh, spoiler alert, I am going to tell you the ending. Uh, evidently, uh, Ingvar, the husband, is shot in the neck and in the torso by a goat man. Yeah, a goat man. He has the head of a goat and the body of a man. Uh, so in a, like, mythical or folklore things, that's the evidence of Satan, so to speak. So I don't know what the aspect of this movie is getting toward with that, but nothing is explained. And I'm pretty sure everything, you know, when someone sees this movie and watches it, it's, you know, oh, what, what happened? What is this? But some of my others have a good explanation. If this review is confusing, it's because it is. Because this movie is very confusing. Nothing happens at all. Nothing interesting happens at all. Not, it's nothing scary. It's nothing supernatural. It's just point and point one, point two, point three. There's different beats in this movie. A movie has to have a beat to move the story along. This movie doesn't have a beat at all, and it just moves the story along in a way where you can't understand it at all. I would have to say that this movie is really, really underwhelming to a fact that maybe I don't know what's happening or what's going on, but when certain aspects of this, you know, uh, movie is laughable then something is wrong and for Numi Ray Pace to start in a movie like this when she's a phenomenal actress is very different and very very interesting like I said this is in an Icelandic movie and it's a supernatural horror it has no elements of that at all it's not scary it's not horror it's more so a tragic folklore kind of story and the movie is just it's that's it whatever i explained to you with the human hybrid baby goat thing being born them taking care of it and then something happening in the end the brother comes in you know and that's it and the husband gets shot by a goat man and he takes this child away so evidently maybe he's taking his own child into the wilderness away 
who knows what the meaning behind all of this is, but I'm pretty sure someone's going to explain it. Uh, so it's very interesting. For me, Lamb gets zero out of five stars. I did not like this movie at all, and I do not recommend it. And the reason I did see a movie like this, if you're wondering, is because Mario, my best friend, and I, we do this thing where anytime we pick a movie, we pick a movie to see if it's going to be bad or good. We go see B-horror movies or bad movies just to see if it's going to be interesting or fun, and we come out of it thinking, what the hell happened? This was one of those movies we picked, and let me tell you, we both went out of the theater trying to figure out what the hell happened. And I'm pretty sure we still, you know, <laughs> are trying to figure out what happened. Uh, this movie is really interesting, and if you did see it, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think of any mythical folklore Icelandic aspect to it? Let me know if you think the goat man is a Satan kind of human being or something. What does the human hybrid baby mean? And, you know, it's let me know in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear your answers and what you think of this movie. This movie was distributed by A24. So A24 does put out a lot of crazy weird movies horror-wise, and they're always knocking it out of ballpark with a home run. And with this one, they struck out as soon as this movie ended. Well, I, I, like I said, it's interesting, but it's interesting to a point where it's really, really weird because nothing happens at all. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought, and you know, hey, get back to me because I'm curious to hear everyone's opinion about Lamb. If you didn't see Lamb, if you want to see it, go see it, but I really don't recommend it at all. And I'll see you guys in the next review video.